And now, sports with KJ Doyle. Good evening and welcome in to News Channel 10 Sports. We're just a few weeks away from Hoops Madness taking over News Channel 10 Sports, but tonight it's not just voting, it's volleyball, playoff volleyball, and a flurry of great matchups between schools with rivalries of varying levels, Bushland and Shallow Water, Amarillo High and Lubbock Cooper, but we start with the third matchup of the season between Hereford and West Plains. The box over at WT packed out for this one. Fans of both teams coming out in full force, Coach Cornelius and Coach McCracken, the familiar foes facing off. First set was intense. The 12-9 score becomes 12-10 as Jaylee Franklin gets the explosive kill to keep things close. Very next play, Franklin looking to do it again, but Nicola Watley gets the block. Watley had a huge game in this one. Tied up now at 22, London Baker, the heady play to slip one past West Plains and give Herford the late lead. Next point, Brooklyn Garcia gets the block and we're tied once again. Next team to lead by two points wins the set. Kendall Blair with the huge kill, too much power on that one, gives Herford the lead back. And then Nicola Watley, the easy kill to end it. Herford takes the first set. In the second set, Herford keeps the momentum. Watley continues to shine. Another kill there. At the end of the set, it's Autumn Wilburn with the block to end it. Herford advances past West Plains to the regional semifinals with the 3-0 win. Amarillo High and Lubbock Cooper battling during the doubleheader in Dimmit. Bushland down there as well. Those highlights next. As for the Sandys, Claire Fansler gets up for the kill to get the Sandys rolling later in the set. It's Fansler again. Two early kills for Fansler to start things off. She's off to a quick start. Later, Sienna Cavalier just barely getting that one over to Lubbock Cooper defenders. That's a kill. Sandys hanging with Lubbock uh, Cooper a few plays later. Look at this tremendous dig from the libero Kaylee Ledbetter sets the po saves the point and the Sandys rally continues and who else but Claire Fansler with the block to get the Sandys the point a little bit later another kill for the Sandys mobbed by her teammates they were on fire in this one it wasn't all Fansler though Sandys continue to storm ahead Sandys unfortunately they gave Lubbock Cooper all they had but they fall in this one three to two now to the Bushland highlights, also playing in Dimmit after the Sandys wrapped up, looking to continue the chase for a three-peat at States. In the first set, a big rally here ends in a Madison Everly block for Bushland, and the Falcons are fired up. That leads to Rachel Russell serving, and look at the placement on this one, painting the corner like an ace pitcher on the service ace. A few plays later, Logan Culpepper sets up Kayla Nye. The young Culpepper loves it, and that connection works so well. Let's go right back to it. Culpepper sets up Nye again. The Falcons just playing with so much energy. The set continues. Bushland varies the attack. Jace Ornelas gets the kill this time, and let's get the Falcons. More Falcons in on the party. Abby Howell gets one near the end of the set. Bushland, another victory. They advance to the regional semifinals. And the Randall Raiders traveled two and a half hours away to Brownsfield to take on the Monahans Lobos. And Randall came away with the victory to advance a hard-fought battle. Randall losing that first set, but storming back. And that third set, wow, 30 to 28. A big congratulations to Jordan Gove, who recorded her 1,000th career kill tonight. And a congratulations overall to all the teams. Good luck to Randall, Herford, and Bushland as they advance. And congratulations to great seasons to Amarillo High and West Plains. That's it for sports. We'll have one final look at your forecast after the break.